Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another figure unboxing video and let me tell you I am so so excited. I know I say that all the time. I mean I love Dragon Ball figures, what can I say? But I am really really excited for this figure. This is a pretty big one right here. As you can see, you can't even see the top of the box. This is just the brown box. This isn't the technical actual packaging, um, but this is the, let me flip this over to the side here, the Figue Arts Zero Kura, or Cooler, whatever you want to call them, Final Form. I just wanted to show you this brown box, um, because a lot of the figures that are done um, by Tamashi Nations, because this is technically something that's done by them, because obviously it's Figue Arts, um, even though it's not a poseable figure, it's a statue. This is their, as you can see, Tamashi Nations and Bandai. This is their, um, like, non-poseable figure line that is really high quality and really cool. Um, they send them out in these brown boxes with the actual, like, like I showed you before, Figure Art Zero logo on it. I've never actually gotten a figure in one of these boxes before, so I figured I'd show it to you just because, I don't know, it's really cool, and I was actually really excited to get it. I know that's maybe kind of silly to some. It's like, oh, it's just a brown box with some, you know, like, company logo on it, but I don't know. It's just really cool to me because I've always seen it in, like, videos and stuff, but I've never, um... Had it for myself so I am pretty excited to open this up um, not just because of that obviously as well too um, I did get this guy um, from e night media for around 80 bucks um, this is the first time I think I've ever actually ordered something from e night media and it was very nice um, they literally were just like yep hit us with the PayPal payment hit you with the PayPal payment and then a couple of days later it showed up at my door so uh, very good service from Enite Media. I will definitely be uh, ordering from them again. Um, I can't seem to get the box open. Wait, there we go. All right. So the packaging for Kura is actually, um, I don't know if I, I'll probably use Kura and Cooler interchangeably in this video. Um, oh no, this is going to be a little nerve wracking because I have to like shake it out of the, <laughs> the cardboard box. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's coming out, it's coming out. I just don't want it to like crash, you know? There we go. I'll do it on the very edge, so then that way. There we go. All right, so we have uh, paper over it. That's interesting. This box is huge. Where's the front? There we go. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just take the wrapping off here. So if you are unfamiliar with the Figure Arts Zero line, the Figure Arts Zero line is famous for being statues that have effects on them. Um, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Let me pan the camera up a little bit for you. Wow, that is amazing. That is so cool. Um, it is famous for having effects on it. Um, they have plenty of cool figures. Some of their oldest ones in the line are Super Vegito and Gogeta. They recently came out with a recolor uh, blue Gogeta from that original one. They have a Broly, they have a Goku. Some of the faces on them do look a little bit uh, eh, in my opinion, but in terms of the actual character, I think that this is probably the best one they've ever made. Granted, I guess Cooler's face isn't too hard to capture because, you know, it's not like a human face, it's a, you know, just kind of like alien face. I don't know what you would, you know, necessarily call that. but. It's so cool. <laughs> and I will say, the effects on this one, let's just actually like get into it here. The effects on this one aren't as big as the other one, although maybe I'm gonna eat my words now that I'm looking at it. It just didn't look as big as the pictures because like the other ones have like key blasts in their hand or whatever. But anyway, let's go over the box. So we obviously have this beautiful art. Very weird that they chose this like kind of dark um, look for it. I mean, I guess he is, I don't know, weird. Just like very monochromatic, I guess. Um, we have Dragon Ball Z, Kura, um, we have Figure Art Zero on the front. What does that sticker even say? Oh, Tamashi Nations Quality. There you go, you can kind of see it there. Um, obviously, the Tamashi Nations and Bandai and the Toei sticker. Um, interestingly enough, on this one, I'm going to flip this over, or flip this over rather. We also have the Funimation sticker, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is also called Extra Battle. Um, very, very cool. There is some pictures of the boy on the side there. Um, I don't know why they gave it the extra battle moniker. I don't know if any of the other ones have it. I, 
doesn't really matter. It's all part of the um, figure art zero line. Just more pictures of our boy here on the side of the box. Oh my gosh, that is cool. So this is one of the um, the production images that they showed um, on the back. I'm glad that they used this one. This is obviously like kind of trying to recreate the scene. Um, but, um, you know, they're obviously like putting the figure in dust or sand and then making it explode around the figure for this particular image, which is awesome. Let's read this real quick. I guess this tells us a little bit more about the extra battle thing. So first of all, Figure Arts Zero is the new standard of figure series with an easily collectible price. Well, I don't know about that, <laughs> but, um, and size. It is a unique statue uh, figure and focuses on form and coloring to reproduce each character's charm. And then extra battle. Extra Battle series features the coolest moment of character from the battle scene. The sculpture is based on the knowledge and technique of Figuarts Zero. Interesting. So I guess it's just kind of like Figuarts Zero's new thing where just trying to capture the coolest moments. And this is certainly one of the coolest moments. If you are unaware what this um, figure is trying to capture, um, it's when Cooler flies down with the kick and then Goku is smashed into the rock, right? And then he kicks him right in the chest with the rock, right? and pushes them deeper into the rock. It's a really, really cool scene in the Cooler movie. Either way though, the bottom um, is just a bunch of warning information here, um, more figure arts here information, um, stuff like that. Um, Bluefin is the people who brought this overseas, so shout out to them. There are a couple of uh, distribution companies that like to do that. This is cool though, that this art kind of like wraps around onto the front of the box. That's really awesome. All right, let's go ahead and finally get them out of the box. Um, I do like, by the way, real quick, I know I'm like dilly-dallying with this, but the fact that they have a window for the figure is awesome. Obviously, you can't really do that with the prize figures because their boxes are so small, but for something like this, 100%. So cool. Um, again, like I said, this guy was around 80 bucks when I got him. Um, I got him a little while ago when pre-orders went up and they, uh, you know, just kind of came um, overseas now, but um, the Figuarts Zero line is pretty expensive. Um, Funny enough from what they said like it's more so like $80 and up is kind of I think a good price range um, To kind of give you for just an idea don't fall please uh, for just an idea of how much they usually cost um, I know the Gogeta and Super Vegito go for a lot on um, the re or not retail market. What's the word I'm looking for like the uh, secondary market where it's not from the official distributor. All right, so let's how do we do this? Let's pull this out. No, 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 no. We're going to do it other way. There we go. Because then we can grab the top here. I don't want to, like, ruin the plastic on the box. I know it seems kind of dumb, but... Always like to keep the boxes in good condition. Not just for my sake, um, but also just in case I would ever want to sell it or something. And not that I'm going to want to sell it, but, you know, just in case. You never know. All right. So let's move this to the side. Did I, like dirty that up a little bit. Ah, it's already, it's all good. All right, let me um, find a place to put this. I guess we'll just put this on top of here. Cool. All right, so we have Cooler. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, let's pan down a little bit more here. Cool. All right, so let's take him out of the clamshell here. Oh, is this taped? Okay, cool. Yeah, so either way though, um, Figuart Zero, um, in my opinion, is pretty worth the price. They're a little bit more pricey than your normal prize figures, um, but that's because obviously they are really high quality. Um, all of them have the really sweet effects from whatever character it is. Um, let's do this this way so then we don't like drop it. Um, so I don't know, I think they're worth the price. Um, but we'll we'll make a better assumption once we actually get them out of the box, I guess. There we go. Holy cow. All right. Clamshell to the side. This is huge. Look at that compared to my hand. I knew this guy was going to be big, but I didn't expect him to be like this big. Okay, let's move this to the side as well. Wow. That is amazing. Let's get the plastic off of my man's. So again, um, this line is famous for having really cool effects and really good bases and whatnot. I can 100% say that that is the case with this cooler. Wow, this is amazing. All right, so first of all, um, just kind of taking the base look at it, I'll, I'll give you some close up in a second. 
but we obviously have um, very nice detail, very nice paint job, very nice shading on Cooler himself. Um, he looks like Cooler. Um, obviously, we have the really cool effects and whatnot. Um, we have this really cool rocky base and explosion effect right here. Now, since Cooler, um, this particular scene of Cooler anyway, isn't necessarily um, a key blast sort of thing, right? They put this energy effect around his foot. Um, cause like with the Gogeta and the Vegito, I posted picture or showed pictures already rather, um, in the beginning of this, they have like the key blast, right? So I'm sure they wanted to give this guy something as well. Um, this is really cool though. So let's take a look. Um, I do see a couple of little like nicks or something, but we'll take a look at that. So hopefully I can hit this here and not hit this. Cooler's face looks amazing. Again, that's part of the reason why I got this figure. Um, I think that out of the figure at zero line, this is probably the best face that they've ever made. Granted, Cooler's face is a little bit easier than some of the Saiyan faces because obviously they're less human. Um, this though is really cool. So they use this um, like clear plastic or resin. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but for these parts, so in the light, as you can see, it kind of makes that blue like glow, which is really, really awesome. Um, that's just kind of the same material on all of these. I do see a little scratch um, on that part, but overall though, a absolutely fantastic figure. Um, this of course is a little bit translucent for this explosion effect, um, but it looks really, really cool. Um, and then they painted the rocks yellow here to kind of, you know, reflect the color, I guess, of the explosion in the background. And then obviously we have this beautiful spiral effect right here that really brings it all together I feel like because I definitely think it wouldn't have been like as complete without that or wouldn't have felt as complete um, very very nice though either way I really really like it the tail is really cool um, I don't know why I like tails on figures so much but this looks awesome it did a very good job with it I love too that they even got the part where there's like um there's a little bit of a gap, like this isn't gapping on the figure, like Cooler actually just looks like that, where his shoulder pads in this form are um, a little bit more like, not elongated, but like they're not attached to his shoulders, right? Absolutely amazing figure, and I think for the price tag, it is well worth it. This is a really, really cool figure, I think, for anybody's collection. Figure Art Zero, Tamashi Nations, Bandai really knocked it out of the park with this one. It is a little bit of a shame um, that I do see that little nick um, right there, but everything else on this looks absolutely amazing. Um, this would definitely be one of those figures that, like, if I had to get rid of a lot of my collection, this would be one of the keepers because, man, oh man, it's, look at it, bro. <laughs> Sorry, just bumped the camera. I'm too excited. All right, let me real quick just grab a couple of figures to compare them to. All right, so just because these two were close enough on the shelf that I could grab them really quickly, uh, I decided to bring them for the size comparison. As you can see, Cooler towers over Kid Goku um, and is a little bit taller because of his headpiece than the Van Presto World Figure Coliseum Champion figure Goku from 2018. A very, very nice sized figure. I think it definitely feels a lot bigger as well than this because as you can see, like he's not too much taller than Goku, right? But I feel like his presence is so much bigger than a figure like this just because it is, you know, like it has all of this going on. Not to mention Cooler has this long tail, right? So his wingspan, even with Goku's power pole is much, much longer right and of course with all of this going on on the bottom again the presence of the figure is like so much bigger than um, a normal prize figure i definitely think this guy is worth the price i will leave some links in the description where you can pick him up very very solid figure i am very impressed uh wow if you got the money for it i definitely recommend getting it especially if it's you are a Cooler fan because we don't get, uh, I'm stuttering here because I'm so excited, um, because we don't get Cooler figures too often either, and I definitely think this is like a pinnacle Final Form Cooler figure. Either way though guys, that is going to do it for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of our mans here in the comment section below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy you two out, peace.